hi everyone so welcome again so this is another video basically thank you very much the last video about the power sequence thank you for your engagement this is another video about the power sequence because i know that you enjoy the previous video and of course the power sequence is one of the most important approach for anyone who wants to excel and to to be professional in motherboard repair without understanding the power sequence the power rail how to track signals you cannot be professional you cannot isolate troubleshoot and repair motherboard computer efficiently so this is another schematic another uh, improved and detailed power sequence that I'm going to teach you and to explain to you. So let's get started. But please, before diving into this power sequence explanation, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share the video with other people like you. And of course, for anyone who wants to join in my Patreon page, you are very welcome. So let's get started. Let's make it easy because in the previous video, we have already seen the power sequence. So let's take an overview first about this power sequence. So basically we have two parts. We have this part over here. So let me please pick this around here or just this line okay that's good so here basically we have two part this is basically the first part here as you can see and over here we have the second part this is the part where we have the adapter here okay and the battery Okay, and this is basically inside the motherboard. Okay, so here we have the adapter, and over here we have the battery. This part is the battery, and here we have the motherboard. Okay, so every square here, as I told you before, every square means a controller or an IC. So let's begin from the beginning. We have here the adapter. So once the adapter is inserted, we will get the voltage that will pass in this direction, okay? Through this switch, this is basically the switch, okay? Or the MOSFET, okay? Here, basically, this is P channel MOSFET, okay? And here, this resistor is, we called it current sense resistor. It's rule or objective here is to sense and to adjust the current that will pass to the motherboard so once the voltage pass through as you can see the mosfet and the current sense resistor of course after receiving the control signal the mosfet will receive the control signal here from the charge ic okay will receive the control signal from the charge ic as you can see so we will get here plus V baht, okay, or plus V battery, about 19 volt. So this voltage will be applied, as you can see here, we have this line here. This line means the 19 volt path, okay, so this is 19 volt path. So 19 volt will be applied to this IC, okay, will be also applied, as you can see here, to this IC also to this ic do you see the arrow will be also applied to this ic to this one and also to this one in order to generate vcc call okay so as you can see that's why we called it the main voltage okay we called it the main voltage because based on this voltage all this ic will work so once the 19 volt will be applied to this IC, of course, besides of other enable signals, this IC, as you can see, here we have its reference TPS51020, 
will generate these three voltages okay basically two voltages plus volts or plus five volt always and plus of course three or three volt always and also another voltage we called it plus five volts l means a secondary voltage okay this voltage is not always present in the motherboard these two voltages here are always present in the motherboard you can always check it using the multimeter without powering on the laptop you will find these two voltages basically this is the first step or we can call it the second step if you want to troubleshoot any failed motherboard you should always look for these two voltages plus 5 volt always and plus 3.3 volt always so this ic is the responsible to generate these two voltages of course these two voltages also will be applied to another control here this is basically a control in order to get another kind of voltage we'll call it plus v5 s okay and also this one will be applied to this control in order to get this as you can see voltage this voltage basically is different from this voltage as i told you before here we have 5 volt here we have 5 volt but this 5 volt as you can see is basically a voltage with a certain current and characteristics the time of generating this voltage is not the same as this one okay because as i told you before the motherboard the voltage in the motherboard you can find three types of for example voltage with the same value you can find five volt and another five volt and another five volt but this three types of 5 volt are not the same in terms of current and the timing because we have the S0 state S1, S3, S4 and S5 state okay that's why every kind of voltage and generated in uh, a precise state for example the 3 volt generated in S5 state is not the same as 3 volt generated in S0 state okay always there is a difference in terms of time of generation and also the amount of current holded by that voltage okay so the same also for uh, this IC so 19 volt will be applied to this IC in order to generate plus 2.5 volt of course here we have other enable signals those basically are enable signal here we have s3 state means this voltage is generated in s3 state okay and also this ic we have sc1470 will generate also this voltage and this voltage also and also we have plus VCCP okay plus VCCP basically is the voltage that feeds the chipset including the not bridge the salt bridge and also the processor okay so as you can see here we have the same uh, uh, part number or reference for this IC we have SC1470 but this IC this is not basically one IC it could be four ICs and you can see four ICs okay and of course here a very important IC as you can see we have a big IC this is basically the processor control IC that generate one of the most important voltages in the motherboard this is basically the vcc core so without the plus vcc core the processor cannot work and as i told you before basically the vcc core is uh, depending in the type of the processor do you see here we have ids as you can see here we have d do you see id voltage here we have vid or voltage id we have six ids here so based on this ids i these ids basically are stored in the processor 
each processor send as you can see here this this is basically input signal means this ids signal coming from the processor so the processor each processor send the ids to the control ic and based on that identification voltage numbers or characteristics this ic will know the exact plus vc score that should be generated to power that cpu for example let's assume that we have two kind of cpu amd cpu and intel cpu so the intel ids are not the same as the amd ids for example the amd needs one volt as vc score but the intel for example we need for example just 0.7 volt okay <coughs> so one control can feed or power many type of cpus okay because we have the range in the output there is output for example for this kind of control it will it has the output of for example between 0.5 volt until 3 volt for example so it could power and feed many all cpus but it will always refer to the ids as i told you before of course here we have other enable signals okay so in order to generate this plus vc score this ic of course should first receive all as you can see enable signals besides of the ids or the identification and then it will generate as you can see the plus vc score to power the cpu here basically we have the main channel and the slave channel this is the first channel and here we have the second channel as i told you before in the previous videos in the previous videos always the processor has two channels or more why because it works basically in a we can see and shift okay when this uh, when this channel works okay the other channel stop working and when this channel also work this one will stop working in order to avoid overheating of the processor and overheating of the component like the controller the mosfets capacitors etc okay so this is why we find many basically two or three channels or even four or five depending in the type of the processor okay so this is basically guys uh, and over here as you can see of course so this is basically uh, about this power sequence i hope that you understand a little bit how the power are, are managed and are uh, feeded or divided into the motherboard so of course if you understand this power sequence you can figure out and always imagine how power se sequence uh, divided and uh, feed any circuits in the motherboard and of course you can figure out uh, easily the problem within a motherboard so thank you very much so please don't forget to like the video if you find it uh, of course useful video because of course your likes are always motivate me to create more and more videos for you and please don't forget to share the video subscribe and join me in my patreon page for more unique content and for anyone who want to download such this uh, laptop schematic and many other laptop schematics and computer schematics you can find it in my Patreon page for free thank you very much and see you with another video